skip just tell us who know god sitting at his feet that even i looked all around you see there's so many mass <laughs> who to go i used to pray what oh god i am convinced without one who knows you nobody can reach you it is a practical matter of self analysis god cannot be known by the outgoing faculties by the vital layers of the intellect it is a matter of seeing who sees he can make you see well i know there is a need definitely all scriptures say i am quite convinced but where to go suppose i go to somebody he has not met you what will be my fate i used to play like that. if you could reveal yourself to the old saints sometimes there are stories like that why can't you do in my case i am convinced i have great regard for such a thing but there are so many masters there who to select <coughs> with this well my master began began to appear to me when he sat in meditation, I was doing something. So I thought perhaps it was Guru Nanak. So I was very fond of rivers, ponds, water. So even while in my young life, I used to go sit by water side or some river the whole night together. When in the meantime, I was also to Lahore. That was also a river side. I passed my day there. Once I heard there's also a river Bihar, let me have a look at that, you see. One Sunday morning I left by train, detained at Bihar station. There's an old man, he was a station master of the station. I asked him which side the river flows. He was a devotee of a master. Do you want to see the master? But does that master live there? Okay, yes. Where? On the river side. But oh, I will have two things now. <laughs> I'll also enjoy the river scenery and also see the master. So Then he directed me there. So master was sitting upstairs, you're taking meals inside. I went outside, outside. After half an hour or so he came out. I wonder, hey, the same man was appearing to me seven years before. From 1917 to 1924, I wonder so well. I have played how many times? Why so late? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> he said that was the most opportune time that you took. So I met him once. He says, "So God, Guru appears on the chair that he even for the most skeptic mind, perhaps." None of you have been so skeptic as I was. I was afraid. <laughs> Lest I go to somebody who has not met God, my life has been inspired, you see. Well, when I went to him then, once or twice, every Sunday I used to go. He was looking after me like a father looks after his son coming in. <laughs> he was just, all right, arrange this room, bring this bedding, this and that. You know? I request you all, Master. You don't worry. I'm here at your feet. All right, now you will have to look after this data. Go on with it. Those who come, you look after them. This is the word he expressed. The very first day. So next time when when the initiation, this is very February time. The year month. All were sitting in initiation. Master, you sit inside. I was coming. He gave initiation there. I was inside, sitting in his room. How I was initiated. I was waiting for him. Perhaps he called me or what? I could not there because he did not call me there. I was sitting inside. Then he turned. I asked him. We look at the initiation. Oh, yes, surely. Well, what it was, that mystery of life, what is a man, what is a soul, that is a soul, a little no time. So 
So I generally people ask me, what is your date of birth? I tell them, I, I got three birth dates. <laughs> First, I was born in the flesh. Second, when I met him inside, seven years before. And third, when I met him physically. So these are the gifts of God, you see. So fortunate those who meet such a master, you see. They are put on the way. And what's the duty for them? The more you abide by his words, the more the better. I think when you meet such a master and live hundred percent according to his teachings, well, you cannot return, you will go to the highest if possible.